Today's Cascadia Cup, a bit cooler than expected. It was so hot out that Major League Soccer and the Portland Timbers worked to push the rivalry match with the Seattle Sounders back to a nighttime kickoff. Our Andrew Denver joins us live with more on how the Timbers took extra steps to make sure that the players and fans could beat the Heat. Hi, Andrew. Yeah, hi, Eileen. If this match kicked off at 1 p.m. like uh, originally scheduled, it would have been 168 degrees on the pitch. So instead, officials scrambled to push that start time back to 7.30 for a very specific reason. They didn't want the sun when it was 100 degrees out shining down directly on the players and the fans. Coming out here, I don't care how hot it is, it could be Hades, we're still going to show up right. because today we're up against the Sounders. A rivalry would have to wait if only for a few hours. Thank goodness it is about 100 million degrees out here. As temperatures on the pitch this afternoon reached 168 degrees, this edition of the Cascadia Cup moved to a late start because of extreme heat. It does not deter us from having a, an amazing game. Even before the new kickoff time, this was already the hottest ticket in town. We'd be here no matter what. With temperatures hovering around the high 90s, even reaching the hundreds in some parts of Portland today, the Timbers wanting to keep fans hydrated, allowing for those with tickets to bring empty or sealed bottles to tonight's matchup. Yeah. Water bottles, sparkling water, we're classy like that. Yeah. We also have a spritzer, so you, right. you got to be creative. Still, the high heat was no match for the high intensity of the Timbers Army and the Portland fans. You know, it is an unusually hot day, uh, and fans should just take the necessary precautions to, to stay safe, but shouldn't uh, inhibit their, uh, their vocal cords tonight, and it should be, a, as always, a raucous crowd. And a raucous crowd it was. Things even getting heated on the pitch coming up later in the newscast. Sports will break down this match. For now, though, we are saying so long to the first wave of heat this summer. Reporting live at Providence Park, Andrew Dimbert for Coin6 News. Eileen? Andrew, those are some very dedicated fans. Thank you.